today's episode, we're going to go check out the 69 Mark 1 uh, that I came across at the Good Guy Show in Puyallup two years ago. Um, it's painted this fuchsia color. It's a one-off color from the factory. And um, I got in touch with the owner two years ago. We stayed in touch over the years as he uh, put the car together. And now the car is done. Unfortunately, it's pouring rain outside. So we probably aren't going to get any rolling shots or anything like that. But uh, we're going to go check it out. Um, maybe we'll hear some room room sounds. But yeah, so uh, enjoy. And the louvers are factory, right? It came with louvers. Everything that's on is how it came, right? Yep. God, this thing is nice. And this is not a custom color. This is a factory color. What What was the name of this color again? Purple. Just purple? Just purple. We had 11 different colors for purple, but it's just purple. Gotcha. And then I'll get a picture of the um, Marty report, which... Uh, Shows all the options and everything. This thing is just ridiculous, man. And it's the only one in this color. It's like a fuchsia smoothie. <laughs> Let's go over here and look at the book real quick. Yeah, I love this. So you guys can go ahead and pause this. Yeah, let's go ahead and pause it on this. And it says right here, it says 1926 with this paint code. Is that the special order paint code regardless? That's how many orders. If it was paint code, it would come up with a number five, like here. Mm -hmm. That just means it's a treatment. Oh, okay. Here's your special paint. It's 94 bucks. Okay. And then you got the note down here. Gosh, yeah, painted purple Ford, and that's the actual name, or that's the paint code. Paint code, yeah. Wow. And then, let's see if I got the where's the other one? Right. Man. Excuse me, it was six with the seatbelt warning. Jeez. I'm about to look to see if mine has it now. Open this door one more time. God, this thing is gorgeous. Last time I saw the good guys, it didn't have the interior all the way done. I think it might have had seats in it. But now it's fully done. And look at it, man. Just incredible. And he actually put a five speed in here. I'm a Ask him about that here in a second. Uh, got the rear speaker fader right there. Just beautiful. And then we'll get the hood opened. Does it have fold down, fold down back seat also, right? That's like damn near standard on these cars. All the ones I've seen have back. Mine has a fold down. It's like the trunk was so small, you almost had to have it. <laughs> the only thing difference was is that some of them had the panel that goes all the way to the back seats. That's what mine has, the push-through yeah, panel. This has the uh, lay-down seats to where it's holding up. Oh, wow, yeah, mine has a panel. Jeez, this thing is gorgeous. So let's go see under the hood. Okay, so some people were wondering. Okay, so this is the original engine, right? Original engine? Okay. Some people are wondering why you did the five speed. Five speed came with it when we bought it. Gotcha. And you just put it in there and because put and I tell people this like is, this is definitely a resto mod. Yeah. With the hood down, I want it to look stocked. Exactly, yeah. 
So in, in putting the five speed in didn't require any cutting of the tunnel, nothing like that. Nothing that can't be redone, but unbolting. Now let people know that. Like it's not, they didn't. Uh, they didn't put this back to stock if they absolutely wanted to. Yeah, no problem. There's enough more parts out there to do whatever you darn well want. Right. And he didn't. He didn't put a, uh, like one of those mod engines in there and lose a shock tower. Nothing in here could be reversed if you wanted to, but it makes it for a nice driving car. You know, I was going to have Pop's toy. <laughs> you know, it was my dad. Yeah? He started in the Mustang doing a 67 coupe. Oh, wow. Dang. Would you uh, do you take a drive test or anything special? Did you take it in that? Do you take a drive test in that Mustang? Yeah, I got really? A in that <laughs> God. Okay, so how did you? So how long do you have this car? Nine years. Okay, and how did you? How did you come across it? Did you know what it was when you bought it, or you just happened to buy one and then found out the history? Well, and can we? And can we pop the trunk too? Ah, this thing is gorgeous. Okay, I'm a, I'll just keep walking around this beautiful. Okay. This thing makes me want a smoothie. <laughs> a raspberry smoothie. But look at the wheels and everything. Like like you said, it's it's a resto mod, but nothing on here is irreversible. There's no you know flares cut into it. It's not shaved, chopped and channeled, none of that stuff. So anything that's been done to it can be unbolted if he ever chose to go back to stock, but what he made was a nice, comfortable driver. And I ain't mad at all. Let me try not to dent his door. There we go. I just love this interior, man. Just gorgeous. I love the steering wheel. Oh, and it's a tilt. That's nice. Disc brakes, of course. Just, it's, I wish you guys, I wish we had smell of vision. This car smells so good. But yeah, like he was saying, it has the, uh, let's go right to the trunk. So in the, the, in the, uh, console right there, that little knob, is that the rear speaker fader? Right there in the, uh, console? Oh, it's a cigarette lighter. Is it? So mine, mine is a rear speaker fader in my Mustang. Really? Hmm. Speakers, I, I don't know if they, um, they saved four on it, so I don't know if they were part of the uh, initial purchase or whatever. Yeah, I'm about to take a look at mine. and uh, But yeah, mine says, mine says rear speaker on that instead of uh, that. Oh, and you got the battery in the back with the shutoff. And does this have a, uh, what was for it, track lock for their posi? Does this have a track lock on it? No. Is it a one-legger? Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, then look at the the brackets for the spoiler and God, what a, there's the other one. This car just doesn't look real. Did you get out? On, did you get out and drive this last summer? Right? Oh heck yeah! Yeah. <laughs> so the five speed does it have an overdrive? Just straight five. Straight five? Gotcha. And what uh, transmission is that? What kind? Tronic. Oh, Tronic five speed? Nice. This is such a gorgeous car. Total control for it, like heavy duty sway bars front and back. Mm. Coil overs front and back. Disc brakes front and back. Oh, yeah, disc brakes on the back also? <laughs> nice. Yeah, I was, uh, can't wait to put that 390 in mind, the C6 and everything, but. I know it's gonna drive like. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. No, there we go. Let's guys pause it on this. I'll kind of run down it real quick, but it's everything done to this Mach One. Yeah, it just stopped me in my tracks when I saw it two years ago. 
so cool to see it finally done. Ooh, 463 horsepower and almost the same torque. Jeez. Man, that thing's a freight train. Well, probably goes just about as fast as a freight train, but it can't keep up with those newer cars. These days. Yeah, yeah. They got all kind of gearing and all that stuff, but. Can we start it up? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, do you? <laughs> he likes to party. Oh, my wife told me to. Oh, my watch. Your birthday's come up. Get up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. the fact that you drive such a rare car i mean it's rare because it's a mach 1 rare because a 428 cobra jet four speed car then which, yeah this is so nice so when you when you bought this how'd you how'd you find it first of all how'd you find the car oh golly <laughs> Right. And um, we had gone, checked all the local stuff, and there was nothing that really kind of tripped my interest. Well, so I started looking otherwise, and I went to Vanguard Motor Sales out in. Oh, I've seen them online. Michigan. Yeah. And I bought this car from them. I looked at it, and after I found this one, I kept going around and looking, and then I kept coming back to this one. Right. That was this car, right? Nope. Oh, a different one. The one that had a 390. What, did, was this one painted this this way when you bought it? it was Clipso Coral when we, when we bought it. Oh, so somebody changed it. Somebody couldn't oh, even... Oh, yeah. Here's the original color up here. <laughs> somebody, somebody was not feeling the uh, the purple. Let's see. Oh, I see it in there. It's an original part, though. <laughs> yeah, right there. Wow. <laughs> that's like that's like the plum crazy slash in violet mopars uh, a lot of them got painted or not plum crazy i'm tripping um the panther pink and moulin rouge cars for the mopar a lot of e-bikes and stuff got painted a different color other than that pink over the years people just didn't appreciate it i can see that though really what what year was the shelby Really? I'm gonna see if I can find pictures of that. Oh, you can on the web. Yeah. This is just so gorgeous. And then when I last saw it, it didn't have the stripes on it, right? It did not. Okay, yeah, because I remember you came to the shop and got some measurements off mine. This is just so nice put together. <sighs> did you spend all summer? Uh, polishing it and stuff, or you just... Oh, I took it to Kimmel's and they had a detail that put ceramic coating on it. Nice. Uh, Gosh, 
is so gorgeous. <laughs> I can't wait to get mine on the road. You know how you can take that car of yours to a show and have it as a work in progress. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring it to the Mustang show. Um, but next year, it'll be running and drive. I'm going to drive it there. Like over at Grios. I'll take it to the Mustang and find the waterfront over in Port Orchard. When's that going to be? That's probably, no, that's the same weekend as. Uh, good guys? That's a Sunday on the same weekend as uh, the Good Guys show is. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Good Guys happens on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And yeah, Sunday's no good, though, for Good Guys. It's like all the modern stuff. But, yeah. This thing is awesome. Yeah. Man, I want to. Yeah, oh, I, I got, I got it bad. I got it real bad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, let's just check out the. Uh, let me show you what I, was, what I just picked up too. Um, where's the box of uh, the parts? So my uh, trunk lock was rotted out, so we found this also. So that's perfect. And I just made room in the shop. There's some other stuff in here too. I think I was missing this. Uh, I think I'm missing this. <laughs> no, this is good stuff. This is going right on the car. So but that stuff will be able to put on the car and get mine running. I can't wait to drive. I can't wait to be out here like you. Mm. Yeah, it only took nine years. Yeah, yeah. I've had mine for three, so, you know. Man, I can't wait. So, so when you bought it, it was runner driver as a uh, Clipso Coral painted, right? It had the five speed and everything already. So you guys drove it around like that. And then you tore it. How, so how long ago did you tear it down? Um, that was a slow progression. Yeah. You know, ever since we bought it, I think after about the first year. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then it, how long was it in the uh, paint for? Well, we had some issues with the paint, with the repaint. Matter of fact, how did you, so wait, wait, how did you get the, were you able to find the original paint color like through uh, yeah, DuPont okay. or? On that paint color. And then who, what, uh, what, I'm sure they don't get many calls, if any, for that color. So is it DuPont? <laughs> Gotcha. But even, it's funny, because even this color, oops, even this color is a lot different than this. Well, that could be the difference between what my printer does and what that color Yeah, is. yeah, true. But, wow, oh, this is, it just makes me want a milkshake, or a smoothie. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, I want a smoothie. Wow, this is just a wild, wild color. And the fact that it's a Mach 1 also... And that was a four-speed car. It's just... See, the thing is, that's all the colors that were available for the 69 Mustang. Okay. Including Rainbow of Colors. I think Rainbow of Colors started in, what, 67? Yeah. And then they carried it on through 69. Early 69. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing on here like that. Wow. See, the tags that had Ford on it, Mm-hmm. You know, Yeah, I know Gas Ronda. Well, I don't know. That but. was that dealership that he worked at. Yeah, so Gas Ronda. I had somebody ask me. I, I posted a picture of this two years ago, and somebody was like, uh, is, that a, is that a Gas Ronda car? Or? It's entirely possible. Another good source for people that are looking for information on these cars is Mustangs Attitudes. Mm. MustangsAttitude.com. There's like a flop to this. It's like, I can't really capture it. It's like a, almost like a pearlish, pearlish.
purple to pink. It's like a magenta to yeah. So, but somebody ordered it like this. Did you ever did you ever find out who the original owner was? No. No. I'd be interested to know if it's a, if it's a guy who special ordered this or a girl special ordered it. Mm -hmm. And he wrote a book of Mustang specialties. Mm -hmm. And um, so nice. He basically thought the way this came in, it was something the uh, showroom uh, promotional car. Oh, like a dealer promo. Yeah. So he put it out there, and one way to catch somebody's attention. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, like a fleet order. Almost like Chevy's Copo program, yeah. It's just it's so crazy because it looks like dark purple in you know, in the dark, but then when it's light it's like this fuchsia and then it's like when it's really bright it's like a pink. But not like a Yeah, it's not like a not like a Playboy paint. Look at that. Now it looks like it looks just like uh Panther Pink. <laughs> it's got a crazy little like a color shift to it. I keep saying this car doesn't even look real. But yeah, once I put this, now I can put this engine transmission in and put that in there. Then we're gonna get some pictures of this and then my bucket next to it. I won't stand, I won't put it too close to it. I don't want the rest to fall on it, but <laughs> So yeah, came to the shop, uh, waded through all my junk to the back of the Mustang. I was able to get the measurements for the for the letters, and then the stripes also. I think did you get tape uh, measure the stripes yeah. also? So that was cool because most of my Mustang is original paint except for the driver's door that was replaced. But well, that's cool. Machiavelli has contributed to other Mustangs, so that's awesome. But yeah, I'll definitely be coming back and getting some pictures of both of the cars together. Cause this thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. God. And when I found mine, I just wanted a, a 69 or a 70 fastback. I really wanted a 69. But when I found mine, I just kind of stocked it on uh, offer up for like almost a year. And then the price went down. Then it went down. I, I showed him a picture of a, a, a stack of cash in my hand and an empty trailer. And I was like, man, what's up? And he was like, all right. And I flew over there and bought it. I either, I paid six, I paid seven or eight for it. I think I paid seven for that car. But I just wanted, I just wanted a '69 fastback, period. You know, and then to get a Mach One and um, yeah, the original transmission, the FMX transmission is still in it. The the crazy part about mine, I put a picture of mine right there. The crazy part about mine is that Scar Ford pulled the 351 out of it back in the early '90s, and I don't know where it went after that. But they pulled it out nice and neat. Un because when I, when I first got the car, I was like, dang, somebody took the engine out nice. Like, all the lines are all still intact, and they didn't hack anything. And then I talked to the um, to a guy who got it from Droll, and he was like, yeah, the um, Scar 4 is the one who pulled the engine out. I don't know if they must have been doing some kind of maintenance to it or something, but they never put it back in for whatever reason. Yeah, but it's like, it's funny. They took it to a dealer to have it, you know, worked on, but they never put one back in. Or maybe somebody... Yarded the one they put in out, but that's why I was like, it's, you know, it doesn't matter what I do to the car; it's not gonna be numbers matching. And then I just let my, uh, I let my followers, I, I did like a week, a week long uh, vote. I let my followers um, choose. Yeah, no, I voted for 390. yeah, yeah. I was like either three ninety or three fifty one, and then everybody said, you know, most people said three ninety. All right, perfect. And I'm figuring, you know, I have a running driving sixty six T bird with a three ninety in it. This would be a breeze. Nope, I need a that cross member, I need all other kind of stuff to put it in. I was like, I thought I was gonna be saving money by putting a running driving engine in there. I'm just, <laughs> it actually cost me more. But it'll be cool because I have the grunt and uh, it's cool because mine's a shaker car also. And it's just, you know, I can't wait to see both of these cars next to each other. I can't wait to drive that car. I know it's gonna drive like a stagecoach, but I <laughs> just can't wait to get it outside. Yeah, well, actually, no, mine has power steering. Yeah. Now, well, from what I've heard, and I don't know how true it is, but they said 428 for the manual transmission didn't have power steering. 
Oh, yeah, your yeah. But so yeah, mine's a 351 power steering. So that'll help. But I got these guns too, so it's nothing, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing. It's nothing. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, Tom? <laughs> uh <laughs> we out.